It's been a long five years for one Conway family who is still calling for justice after their loved one was shot and killed. The family of 18 year old Jody Loring says despite having limited answers, they're not giving up hope in this case. Our Ty Lisa Hampton joins us live from the Conway Police Department. And Ty Lisa, do police have any recent updates in this case? And what more did the family have to say? Yeah, Kevin, we have reached out to the Conway Police Department multiple times and have not heard back yet. Now, I was able to speak with Jody Loring's family, who tells me they never imagined back in 2018 it would be shot and killed, nor did they think it would take five years. And they still would not have any answers to who was responsible for his killing. However, they did tell me they are not losing hope and they will and try to find justice for him. My shirt's fading, but... His memory is not. The words Exonia Zachary wears. Justice for Jody. Is a message close to her heart. I never would have thought that I'd be wearing a shirt with my brother on it. In May of 2018, Conway Police Department says 18-year-old Jody Loring was found shot and killed inside his car. It just felt like my world had shattered. Five years have gone by and Jody's case remains open. They think they have leads, but we really don't know. Still searching for the person responsible. It's real stressful. After five years, the person who killed a son person may be dead. Yeah, straight up. Right. That's it's what they don't understand. That's so fact. That's, that's true. It's like five years. Like This is a long time, man. This little kid's running around. He's about to go to school and shit. Adorable, it's baby. Crazy, man. Really don't know. Still searching for the person responsible. It's real stressful. Just not knowing you walk around every day and you could be walking next to the person who took his life. Holding on to her last memory of her baby brother. Makes me it's sad that the this is reunion. the last one he wore. It should have been him graduating college. Exonia says Jody was in his high school cap and gown just four days before his life ended. It's real sentimental. Just, um, I just wish he was in it, you know. <laughs> wish I could have him back. What makes his death harder is knowing he can no longer be a father to his son. Some days it's just like, oh my goodness, you look like your dad. The family hoping someone will come forward with answers. Just speak up and don't be afraid because he deserves justice. He really does. So are they cripping or just a real big fan of fucking blue? Yeah, I think that it's just the, the captain gown color. <laughs> yeah, man. Just look like one of the baddest right, 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 right. 14-year-old still in down. the hospital tonight. More than a month. Crimes down because of the storm. 14-year-old still in the hospital tonight. More than a month after he was shot in the head in Pine Bluff. His loved ones told he would not survive. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 16 News at 6.30. I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm Donna Terrell. Damarion Harris recovering at Arkansas Children's Hospital with constant care and therapy. Neil Zarang shares the latest on the investigation after speaking with family and police. The first day, the second day, the first week. They thought he wasn't going to make it, but he's here. Since a bullet entered and exited his skull on March 20th, Demarion Harris has been surrounded. So, was this a... The bullet just went through the fucking um, window. Yeah, he wasn't shot with a 32. Well, he was... Probably shot by, he probably wasn't the intended target. Entered and exited his skull on March 20th. Demarion Harris has been surrounded by family. The 14 year old used to play football, track, and basketball, but his mother, Dion Bates, says now he can't do any of that. He want to go home. That's all he keeps saying. I want to go home, mom. So that's how it goes. Demarion has half his skull, and the other half will need replacement. His memory from that day is gone, and Bates has been told one day those memories might return. According to the Pine Bluff Police Department, what happened that evening around 1707 South Oak Street is still under investigation. Authorities arrested a 15-year-old and a 17-year-old within days of the shooting and booked them into the Jefferson County Juvenile Detention Center for first-degree battery. The county prosecutor will determine if they will be tried as adults, and he did not return our call Tuesday. We have been in Pine Bluff our whole life. I feel like somebody needs to do something. Who? I don't know. When? I don't know. 
but I would like to help in figuring out what we need to do for all the kids. I even catch myself feeling sorry for the boys who did it. And I'm like, oh, Lord, God. I don't know. Oh, God damn. Christ. This is why it uh, sucks like a motherfucker in Palm Bluff, because bras like There me, she goes. <laughs> making little niggas like that. And like, it's not for nothing, though, but can you, the miracles of modern medicine, boy, take a bullet to the fucking head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that son man would be dead. But how do you feel man. sorry for the little nigglets that put a bullet through your son's head, man? Like, yeah. I don't I don't understand that energy. Yeah, it's I just, wouldn't even feel sorry if I killed the little fucker. It's, uh, it's still, it's no, no, I would try to kill them. Excessive apathy. I mean, sorry, excessive empathy. You're black, you would try. I'm Caucasian, I would kill him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, it, it's it's disrespectful though to him. Well, to say that well her mother his mother's disrespecting him by saying that it just he doesn't see that jesus christ man something who i don't know when i don't know but i would like to help in figuring out what we need to do for all the kids i even catch myself feeling sorry for the boys who did it and i'm like lord i don't know what to do why do i feel sorry for them because they yeah. If that had happened to my own child and that shit ever fell out of my mouth, everybody in hearing distance has my my permission to pull my tongue out with a pair of pliers. Yeah. yeah. Why do you feel sorry for him? Like, that's a good question. At least he, well, because at least you know that your son was probably one of these little terrorists mm, at one point. I'm sure he was. I'm positive he was. Yeah, I think that's why. And I'm like, Lord, I don't know what to do. Why do I feel yeah. sorry for them? Because they steal kids, too. Bates is a mother of eight, and Demarion... Oh, God, okay, we're answering a lot of questions as this motherfucker keeps rolling. She had a litter. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so we need to have a poll. How many baby daddies <laughs> for those? Get that How poll. Many How many think? How many think? I think the two have the same father, the two yeah. oldest ones. I think... Mom was real familiar with Paul. I'm giving, I'm giving four or five vibes. I'm getting three. I'm getting three. It's three. Nice. I'm getting, nice. It's three. Yeah, I'm getting three. I'm getting three vibes. These two are twins. I'm probably. just yeah. going to say Father's Day. It looks like a bus stop out front. And these four got the same father. These four got the same father. Yeah, the these two got you the think same these four father. got the same? Definitely. Yeah, these, They're small. These, these, these got the, yeah, these got the same, same skin tone. Yeah. I, now, listen. It could be four, but I just think it's three. I think he, I think he, him him yeah. and her are the same father. Yeah, yeah clearly they, definitely they, they not into her man school, wearing man. a Jimmy cover. Mm. I think I think this one is this one a twin. The two I babies think. definitely got. I think got the same daddy. The two oldest, the four in the middle is where I think it, things can get dicey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, listen, man. Listen, <laughs> I fucked up with eight kids, and she's still kind of cute. It's not one. It they look like she got a fat ass. Oh, it's guaranteed three plus. There's more than three. Three. She like she, 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 she looks like she got fat ass. Oh, I yeah. don't know what to do. Why do I feel sorry for them? Because they steal kids too. Bates is a mother of eight, and Demarion isn't her only son who's been shot with other teens killed by gun violence. What? He's not her. Not only her son. only child <sighs> shot. You see, this is why she could she could relate. She. Creates terror. She burns them. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like this, is what she do, man? Hold on. Is is then who are these eight? If that's not her only son, has been shot. What other son has been shot? Yeah, you're right. Who the other? No. All <laughs> her who? kids are fucking bulletproof, dude. This is this is four. This is four. This eight. Is this her? You, uh, you know the baby could have been shot. No, no, no. Wait a second. Who else was shot? Her? Yeah, she said that's not her only son that's been shot. Hold on. It's two. Bates is a mother of eight, and Demarion isn't her only son who's been shot. With other teens killed by gun violence, she's decided if the city can't get weapons out of the hands of kids, it's time she gets her kids out of the city. And for Who's this? One? Who's this thing? <laughs> How <long is> <laughs> Where are these extra kids coming from? <laughs> I'm confused, bro. <laughs> I thought he said that that's, he's the only one who has been shot. Yeah, the only one who survived. The old mother Hubbard who lived in his shoe that had a thousand kids that came to kill you. Yeah, man. Let, let's see. Let's see. Salute the Deluxe 247, a.k.a. Cal Ripken. 
aka the real MVP, coming through once again. Give the Lux a round of applause, man. Doug Chunk says, I rewrote a tranny comment a half a dozen times, <laughs> but YouTube is in high protection mode. Oh, well, salute. <laughs> yeah, man, you got to be careful when you talk about them, man. Because they still kids, too. Bates is a mother of eight, and Marion isn't her only son who's been shot. With Isn't. He said, isn't. Bates is a mother of eight, and Marion isn't her only son who's been shot. With other teens killed by gun violence. Oh, is this the other son that been shot? No, that's him. That's that seems like that's Buddy, ain't it? Yeah, that's him. That's son who's him. been shot. With other teens killed by gun violence, she's decided if the city can't get weapons out of the hands of kids, it's time she gets her kids out of the city. And for those other kids left behind, she has this advice. Find something else to do. If you can write songs about what you're going to do to somebody, write a church song. Do something different. Write a love song until they have faith that God will do what he say he will do. This will continue to happen. And according to Pine Bluff Police, there have been six homicides so far this year, with one of them being a juvenile victim. There's no date set for when DeMarion will be able to leave the hospital, but if you would like to help his family and their medical expenses, we've attached a link to this story, and you can find that on our website.